So I'm always trying to listen to my community and your voices have been heard. You have been asking for quite a while for a new diorama. So I thought I would bring you on today. I've been tinkering with this for the last few days and I am so happy how it turned out. This is my UNSC Mechanic Bay. Look at this thing, it's gorgeous. A mongoose mechanic station. I mean, it's actually kitted out for any kind of UNSC vehicle, but it's currently got a mongoose on it. This thing is packed to the brim with little Easter eggs with extra details. So I'm gonna try and break it down as best I can today. So hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. Dioramas have always been the bread and butter of my channel, so I'm always trying to bring you the highest quality ones possible. This one is no exception. I mean. This is actually, to be fair, I think this might be maybe my most detailed. I think it's my most complete diorama ever. A lot of the time I make these big, you know, world's largest flood diorama and they're bad to the bone, but they're kind of missing something and that's polish. They're always sort of thrown together, massive battles, but you know, there's there's no real detail to it. And I've dabbled with detail before, particularly my Didact diorama. I did really enjoy that one, but this one's so self-contained. It's literally this box, perfect on all sides, very very nicely mirrored. Symmetry is one of my favorite things with dioramas. I love for things to be symmetrical. And this whole thing operates in two main sections or like two main display options. And this ladies and gentlemen is when it gets really cool. Check this out. This thing rotates, baby. Uh, <laughs> every time I look at it, it's it's just so sick. It is so sick. So basically the general backstory of this, I got a huge haul recently, tons of Halo Mega, and I cannot wait to show it off in a big haul video. But it wasn't just Halo, there were a load of other things like Transformers Creo, and also a couple of Need for Speed sets. And I didn't have the time to build them all up, I'm just selling them as one large lot. But you can see this circular piece and these four silver external pieces were actually just part of the bricks that were in a pile and I was kind of really inspired by them. So I devised a way to actually make this thing move. I kept on adding to it more and more and I fleshed it out to the point that it became a diorama on its own and I am so happy with the result. The trickiest part of this was arguably figuring out how to suspend this thing properly and it took a while. I found out that a mix of three normal blocks and two thin ones was just about enough to have this whole thing suspended. Because I didn't want this, you know, having too much of a gap. It had to be perfect, just a little bit elevated off the floor. And we have this kind of device today, but I thought this looked especially futuristic and UNSC. I'll show you in a few minutes the additional features this diorama has. But first of all, we got two mechanics uh, basically working on this mongoose. There's a couple of additional UNSC personnel across the room. I wanted to make this a Halo Infinite diorama. Well, I wanted all sleeveless Marines for this because I thought, you know, you're in a workshop, you're gonna roll your sleeve up and I also wanted quite a few helmetless marines too. Which just begs the question, Mega, why have you not made uh, marines that don't have the holes in the head? I, I really wish we did have those. The mongoose seems to be getting its basic MOT, <laughs> uh, which I think that's just a UK term. One marine is changing the tire, one's got a flashlight checking out the undercarriage, one has a little data pad, and the other, which is a Pelican Bro Hammer pilot, has a hammer and he's kind of comically trying to knock this piece back into place. It must have come off. Um, so they're kind of a, a approaching it like it is actually a mega block set, if that makes sense, because you are just knocking it together with a hammer. I thought that part was quite comical. We got a load of other tools, mainly taken from the UNSC countdown set, and then a load of other little bits. There's a sniper tripod here, and a machine gun, uh, just random little scraps I had. Some of the printed details I've used on this set are particularly nice. Printed and sticker, actually. Now, these are a mix between uh, different alien sets. The top two are from the UNSC Man the original one. The purple ones are from Banshees, I believe. All four of these corners, you can see parts of the UNSC short sword. Just really nice trims in white and red. I think they give great accents. Another one of those hammers. Those hammers are actually Thor's hammer from the original Mega Bloks. I try to keep it 100% Mega, even if it is old stuff. And this is one of my favorite pieces. This is from an old alien agency set, Hangar 1, and I just stuck a UNSC logo. That's from one of the combat units. I just love how self-contained this is. It's almost a perfect square, a tool station,
station. This yellow light would clearly flash red if there was a problem or maybe when a new vehicle is coming into the bay. This ladder gives some accessibility, hinting towards the idea that it's not just mongooses that are repaired here. Maybe you need to elevate yourself. We've also got an old armory pod from Halo 4, a couple of spare wheels and a spare tire. Like just random bits, I put a backpack and a hook there um, from some kind of warthog or UNSC vehicle, I'm not sure. And round here, you can see the UNSC recruitment center. I wanted this to be as realistic as possible. I thought would Marines actually come in here and then see a recruiting center? I think maybe. Perhaps they're dropped off by Pelican, go through this hangar door and then walk through there to the recruitment center. Perhaps some of these are general mechanics and they might be recruited to the UNSC war efforts. I actually love this. And the crazy thing is it came together within like a few hours. I started tinkering on this yesterday, mainly because again, I had this need for speed mega blocks piece left over. And then I kind of just started using all the spare bricks that I had that were left around from these halls. And then this morning I went into the attic and finished it off. The Pelican Bro Hammer is also stood on a crate that has been glued together. It's a mix of a green and a gray crate. I just glued the corners and then added a screwdriver and uh, some kind of pliers in there as well. One of my favorite things about any set or diorama is smoothed off pieces. So I tried to make sure that all of the edges felt really well, smoothed off. I like it to be as realistic as possible, and clearly there's not going to be random blobs on the floor of a anything, really, so I like to uh, make them as smooth as possible whenever I can. Now let's talk about the additional features on this set. There's a couple of different play options. We've got the mongoose spinning around for now, but let's take that off. Now, if the mongoose wants to be loaded up for some additional repairs, we can spin this round here. This actually pulls down and then the mongoose can be elevated, you know, for some additional maybe chassis repairs. Of course, the wheel can't turn around with this piece, but I thought it was a nice additional feature. And this is actually from the landing pad from the UNSC Falcon. It just swings up there and then this can be rotated round again. If you want a more accurate holding of your vehicles, you can also insert these little pieces here. They just slot in nicely and they'll sort of position the mongoose a little more more gently in place and can be adjusted in and out depending on what kind of wheels you have, the actual width of the mongoose itself. Like I said, guys, I'm always listening to the community. I'm always reading comments. So let me know what kind of diorama you want to see next. I like this one a lot, you know, because it's not just my usual large scale battle. It's a little more thought provoking. There's a lot of efforts that uh, has gone into this to make it feel quite intimate, quite a human experience like this. It really does exist in the Halo universe. So I I hope you guys enjoyed and yeah, let me know what you think of this thing. It's also just propped up by all these silver pieces. I kind of ran out of silver pieces by the end and there's a ton of more details that I've probably forgot to mention. I'm just super pleased with it. And I wanted to show it all off to you guys. This is a very spur of the moment video. It's not really prepared. I'm kind of rambling on a Sunday afternoon, but again, I wanted to also test out some new cinematic light. Shout out to my inspiration for this video. Uh, a few different people actually. I want to give a big shout out to Shere Khan Industries for his incredible new Mombasa dioramas, to Mega Gabby for keeping it real, and I've met that guy in person, he's a legend, to Brickman117, of course, like, big shout out to him, he is just right back at it, and actually his newest video, the Delta Halo diorama, that did inspire me to get back to it and make a new diorama, as well as the inspirations from the community, from the non-stop support that you guys do show me. So yeah, guys, shout out to you all, thank you so much for tuning in today, this was another diorama with the domain, as always, you stay awesome, yes, stay safe out there and I'll see you in the next video. Domain signing off.